Joe Tessitore alongside CM Punk and Charlotte Flair on the heels of history. Cody Rhodes is now the undisputed WWE Universal Champion in a match that some may say, hey, it's up there as one of the greatest matches in WrestleMania history, but perhaps undoubtedly it'd be the most talked about just based on who was in the ring, Charlotte. The pops were incredible. Uh well, it's WrestleMania 40 from Undertaker, John Cena. I mean, Roman itself, the entire bloodline. Uh, Seth, yes. I mean, surprise after surprise after surprise. Poor old Seth. Listen, <laughs> as the old saying goes, and it applies here to Roman, be careful what you wish for. You wanted bloodline rules. You wanted anything goes. You wanted no rules. Anything goes, and everybody showed up. You know, throughout the week, there were some who were speculating that we could have an Avengers Endgame kind of scenario yeah. here, and that's exactly what happened. But to see it play out, first there's Jimmy Uso coming in with a super kick, and then Jey Uso meets him on the ramp and spears him off the ramp. <laughs> off the ramp. I mean, what, what is that, about nine, ten foot high there? Disappeared into the ether. <laughs> <laughs> Nary to be seen again. And then we get, a, you know, we expected to see Solo. We yep. see Solo. Nobody expected to see John Cena. What was your reaction all of a sudden seeing Cena? To be honest, it wouldn't have felt like WrestleMania, though, if John wasn't here. True. But John representing Cody on a night like this, and it wasn't like a passing of the torch moment, but now Cody being the face of the company, I just, it just felt right, you know? Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Yeah. You guys said John Cena was here, but I didn't, I didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the ring with Taker. I've been in the ring when you hear that gong. Yeah. The mood changes, the temperature drops. It was warmer before Taker got here. Temperature drops at least 10 degrees, and you don't know where he's coming from. Is he coming from the entrance? Is he coming from the crowd? Shows up right behind final boss rock. Puts him to sleep. It was it was quite the moment, and then of course the moment of celebration. Three crossroads, the win for Cody Rhodes. So the long reign of over 1,300 days of Roman's reign now comes to an end, and Cody is the champion. Your first reaction to Cody now being the undisputed Universal Champion? I know his dad's here somewhere. Like I've known Cody since he was a kid, and. The reason I'm here today is partly because of how much Dusty believed in me, but just knowing what this moment means, and if his dad, I mean, I promise you, if you, I, I don't think his dad could have ever pictured this. I mean, pro wrestling is in Cody's blood, and to, like his mom holding the title and the story, it's just like, it, it's a love story. I don't know how else to, yeah, I'm trying so to hold back tears. The, yeah, it's a, well, it's, 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 it's emotional. An emo it's, it's a legit like, emotional affair. And you yeah. say you've known Cody since you were kids. I feel like I've known you and Cody <laughs> since you were both kids. Uh, and I knew Dusty. And having a guy like Dusty Rhodes believe in you when yeah. no one else does is powerful. It's magic. I used to think I was the only one. And then he took over NXT. And, man, he developed yeah. talent everywhere. And possibly, goes without saying, the best talent he developed is his son Cody. So Absolutely. let's advance the story, and Charlotte, I'll start with you, because here we are on what was really a better part of a two-year build to get to this point of constantly hearing, finish the story, finish the story. Well, he finished it right there. He has the belt. So now, how does Cody Rhodes evolve from here? I really think his story is just beginning. He's exactly where he should be. But the biggest takeaway is Cody was here. He went away, he came back, mm -hmm. and kind of like Paul Heyman's speech, um, at the Hall of Fame, like people kept telling him no, 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 or things kept failing, and that never wavered um, either either person's like. Con sorry, either person's. It's confidence. nice to hear, though, isn't it? It is nice. As you continue your comeback. Yes. Um, no, like it's Cody is a testament to knowing your worth, and I think that's what we need to take away from tonight. Is he believed in himself, and he knew that he deserved more, and that's why he walked out. WrestleMania the, 40 as champion. What's the next step for Cody Rhodes? Where do you see things going as a champion now? L listen, a black belt is a white belt that didn't quit, right? Good point. He just earned his black belt. Yep. And unlike his finishing maneuver, we are no longer at a crossroads. I think the path is clear, possibly the Cody Rhodes era. But yeah. I will warn him, it <laughs> is much harder to stay on top than it is to get there. And we all saw how hard it was for him to get there. There's a lot of people gunning for him. 
Now let's go to the other combatant. That is Roman Reigns, and it is time to put his title run and his career to this point into some historical perspective. Uh, a lot of people like to throw around greatest of all time, if you talk to those attached to the bloodline, um, loses the belt. As of right now, how do you frame that conversation when it comes to Roman Reigns in terms of the all-time list of champions? Everybody always asks you, uh, your Mount Rushmore. Yes. I'm a little weird. I like to say six grandfathers is what Mount was called before, you know, we for some reason renamed History it. History buff. But, but that way you get six, right? You don't get four, you get six. So I'm cheating a little bit. <laughs> you, you, He's in the conversation. Okay. But we, we're talking about Dusty Rhodes. I'm sitting next to of course. the progeny of yes. Ric Flair. You know, uh, there's been so many greats. We saw him a lot tonight. We saw The Undertaker. We saw John Cena. It's hard to narrow down who is the greatest of all time. You're talking about Bruno San Martino, Pedro Morales, Bob Backlund, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, your dad, Cody's dad. On. Who's the GOAT? I don't know. It's a preference at some point, but Roman's in the conversation. I really think it boils down to like that specific character and how they make you feel, and it's how we feel when we see Roman Reigns and like what he's done in the last 12 years and the last two years. Um, I think that like, yes, he will go down as one of the greatest of all time. But like Punk said, it's really hard to go, who's the top four? Because every error is different. Like they keep talking about this new error. I love new errors. I love new beginnings. But there still and always will be the four horsewomen. There you go. It's a little easy <laughs> to talk about who the greatest woman wrestler is. Yes, it gets is. A, gets a little yes, easier. Yes, it is. Who's won more women's titles than any Somebody's other head and WWE above superstar who stands yeah. to our left, and we can't wait to see you come back. You've been working so hard. It's a, a courageous we're, we're story to rehab, come. We're buddies. That's yeah. A, yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> but based on things we saw tonight, perhaps somebody's a little ahead of schedule because ow. the, oh, yeah, ow, Is yeah. Dr. Duke is mad because at you? Because the other big story that developed here at <laughs> WrestleMania 40 night number two was our guest analyst opening up the show. Drew McIntyre puts on a sensational performance in winning the WWE Heavyweight Championship for a minute, for a minute, because of what you did, which opened up the door for Damian Priest to cash in his uh, Money in the Bank briefcase and take a lot the of title. You are a troublemaker. You no, punk. listen, listen, just keep your voice down. I don't cause problems Chaos. everywhere I go. Explain yourself. Um, you know, I just... I wanted to make Drew interesting, you know? I wanted to show him that what's important isn't on the internet. What's important is inside the building. And man, those people, after his two matches, yes, he had two. He won one, he lost the more important one. They were chanting CM Punk. There is a fine line between love and hate between it's Drew and Punk, I, th I think. He <laughs> loves me. What was your takeaway on what we saw there with McIntyre, um, Punk Priest? So I'm not biased. I just I've seen how hard Drew has worked, and to see Punk bring out a different side of Drew, that's my takeaway. Like I haven't seen Drew this inspired, this good, this real until Punk showed up. So that means something. Like you, like you're you're only as good as who's in front of you, right? I'm a lightning rod. <laughs> Is this an opportunity right here with an ESPN mic in your hand to cut your first promo on Drew McIntyre? Is this, <laughs> Am this I an opportunity it up? <laughs> to look right here? Mr. Punk, and we'll give you your first swing at <laughs> short and sweet is where it's at. Uh, and I'll say it like this. Drew McIntyre prayed for me to be injured. He prayed for it to happen. He asked for help. He looked above and he said, God, Please take CM Punk out so I can main event WrestleMania 40. I don't pray for things to happen. I make them happen. And I'm going to keep this up until Drew loses his mind. This is my house. I came back here to prove it. Everybody's worried about who I was, who I am now. You should worry about who I'm becoming. There. Said. Done. Period. We cannot wait to see where this goes <laughs> with CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, and Damian Priest now has himself a belt based on what you did. Congratulations, yeah. kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, that smirk you were given as you were sitting there with your I legs just... crossed. Um, all right. The rest of the night was wildly entertaining. Anything else that caught your attention? I mean, when I saw Montez jumping over the turnbuckle, going airborne, uh, that was on the lily belt. Well, uh, the frog splash with, with Logan Paul. Th this guy is an aerialist. 
time and again. <laughs> Another He's, freak athlete. Yeah. What what else caught your attention tonight? Well, Bailey's win. Bailey's um, win was great. She's been the backbone, the heartbeat, never wavered, sometimes put herself last. And to see her have this big win at WrestleMania 40, um, and the audience, if you didn't notice, we're, we're singing for her the entire time. Like, I was just sitting there like, man, like the good guys do finish on top of the end. Like, I couldn't have been proud of her. That main event was another level. Aside from that, I think Bailey stole the show, yep. you know? Yeah. I, I, I left this place 10 years ago uh, because I had to for a lot of reasons. But I was so excited about the crop of talent that was in NXT. Yourself, Bailey, Becky, countless talents that I was excited to wait and get called up to the main roster, but I had to go. And now I'm back. And I miss this entire generation. And I'm now back in the mix, and I get to see it firsthand. I was there live at the Royal Rumble to watch Bayley win a Royal Rumble. And now I got to watch her win a title in her first singles match at WrestleMania. I am grateful for the opportunity to just be a witness. Well, we can't wait for a year from now when the two of you are back in the ring. Us main event, too. Main event of 41. Yeah, and that, that'll likely be the case. But for now, it's a celebration of Cody Rhodes. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Guys, great job with your analysis tonight. Oh, I, I'm standing next to greatness. I'm surrounded by talent. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I, 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 I rise to the occasion. Thank you.